years later. Well, the studio looks just the same. <laughs> That's more than I can say for that actor. I went over there to see Frank Capra, who was making a new movie. I caught him just as he was coming off the set. I figured we ought to get some pictures and we might as well let him take them. Anybody can do a better job than that hope. The first to come out was my old fishing pal, Glenn Ford. He was surprised to see that I had put Capra to work. It was nice to see Glenn again, but I didn't want to detain him too long. Even movie stars only have an hour for lunch. Then out came probably the greatest dramatic actress of our time, the one and only Betty Davis, with Hope Lang, another star of the picture. Betty was surprised to see me there. If she seems heavily made up, it's because she's playing Apple Annie in this Frank Capra picture, Pocket Full of Miracles. Incidentally, Hope Lang had just finished doing a crying scene, so Capra kept up a steady stream of funny gags, trying to make her laugh. I tried to hook it up with the apples, but you can't top that Capra. I had my two little daughters with me that day. It was their first time inside of a studio, and before we left, I took the kids for a walk down Paramount's Western Street. I tried to explain to him that one of the first talkies I ever remember seeing was the Virginian. It was a class western, the first of a long row which Gary Cooper was to make during his lifetime. It was made on this street. <laughs>